Tell your neighbor, you are a mountain that cannot be shaken. Uh, tell your neighbor, you are a mountain that cannot be shaken. Yes. You are a mountain that cannot be shaken. God says to you this morning, those who put their trust in me, they are as Mount Zion. Those who put their trust in me, they shall be as Mount Zion. Most of the time we waste our time looking at our, our problems. Then we go to the, um, to the mirrors and look how smaller we are and how bigger is our challenges. Forgetting that God, he never created us by mistake. He created us for a reason. God he created you for a purpose. Tell your neighbor, God he created you for a purpose. Ah, you people, you people. Tell your neighbor, God he created you for a purpose. Yes. We waste our time, most of the time, counting our problems. Instead of counting our blessings that God he has given to us. When we are having problems, instead of looking at what is happening in the spiritual realm, we look down and look and count how many problems we have. King David says, those who put their trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion. Those who put their trust in the Lord, they cannot be shaken. When you become a Christian, it doesn't mean you cannot have problems. When you become a Christian, it doesn't mean that you are not going to face challenges. When you become a Christian, it doesn't mean that you are not going to have trials and tribulations. When you become a Christian, it doesn't mean that you are not going to face walls outside, spiritual walls and physical walls. Christianity is not a way of running away from our problems. Christianity is a way of solving our problems. Christianity is not a way of running away from whatever is happening into our daily life. Christianity is not a way of running away from the devil, but it is a way of fighting with your enemies. God, he must create a mountain in you so that whatever comes into your life cannot shake you. It's either sickness, it's either trials and tribulations, it's either demonic attack, it's either family demons, it's either whatever it may be happening or fighting with you. God give you a strength for you to overcome it. God must create a mountain in you for you to overcome all demons that are fighting with you. 
The Bible says no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The Bible didn't say there are no weapons that will be formed against you. The Bible says no weapon formed, meaning they are going to be formed, but they shall not prosper. The Bible says no weapon formed against me and you shall prosper. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, can you shout your name now? Can you say in the name of Jesus? Jesus, he must create a mountain in you. Jesus, he must build a mountain in you. For you so that all your problems when they come, they don't push you down. Jesus must create a mountain on you so that all your trials and tribulations when they come, they don't push you down. In the book of Hallelujah. Uh, can you shout amen? Can you shout amen? In the book of Jeremiah the prophet in 15 in verse 18. If you come to me with all your heart, I will accept you. Uh, if you come to me with all your heart and repent, I will accept you. I will make you my mouth and make you a strong tower to those who wants to destroy you. God knows there are people who wants to destroy us. Hallelujah. Look on the neighbor, tell neighbor, neighbor. God knows there are people who wants to destroy us. Yes. God knows there are people who are fighting with us. God knows that. God knows there are people who are fighting with me and you right now. That's why he say, I will build you and make you a strong tower to those who want to destroy you. Why God he build you strong and make you a tower a strong tower, because he knows there are challenges under the sun. God he knows we are facing challenges under the sun. I hear. Can you say in the name of Jesus? Don't say because I've been praying, bad things they mustn't happen to me. No. God he gave you strength. He said, oh, you are like a mountain. You are a Mount Zion. So uh, when problems, they come, they cannot push you down. God he says, you are a Mount Zion. If you put your trust in me. Let me tell you something. You can waste your time and put your trust in every uh, uh, um, idols and whatever. Without Jesus, we are nothing. Without Jesus, we cannot make it under the sun. We can fool ourselves, we can tell ourselves a lot of things, but without Jesus, we cannot make it under the sun. If you don't put your trust in the Lord, you cannot make it. If you don't put your trust in the Lord, you cannot make it. A lot of things that are fighting with you. There are a lot of demons that are fighting with you in the spiritual realm. So God helps you by creating a mountain in you. So that no matter the sickness comes, no matter it will enter into your body, it shall not defeat you. No matter problem comes into your life, it shall not defeat you. No matter your enemies, they can gather, try to fight with you. They cannot conquer you. Hallelujah. Can you say in the name of Jesus? Ah, you people in the name of Jesus. Can you say in the name of Jesus? Say, Lord Jesus, create a mountain in me. Touch your chest and say, Lord Jesus. Create a mountain in me. 
Yes. You know the Tower of Babel when you read in Genesis? Uh, the leader Nimrod. Hallelujah. They say, let us, create, let, let us build a, what? a tower so that we enter in heaven without even <laughs> dying. Which God, God, when he's sitting, we just appear and say, surprise, we are here. Aye, aye. Amen. God must create a tower of Babel in you against your enemies. You must be taller than your enemies. Nimrod and his people, they say, let us create a tower. So that when God is sitting, relaxing, he hears us talking inside, surprise, we're in heaven. Then God said, devil, you're a liar. You cannot do that. Hallelujah. Remember the, the Bible say the world was having one language. Can you say one language? Yes, in Genesis day, the world was having what? One language. But after that, when God saw that they were united, there is nothing that conquer unity. That's why if in your enemies, when they want to destroy you, they make you to fight one another. Aye! Aye! On the tower of Babel, if God agreed, even today we are going to be paying bribes to go up to heaven. When God is sitting, I say, I paid my ticket. Surprise, I'm in heaven. I'm tired down that side. God must create a mountain in you. God cannot stop your challenges to come to you. But God, he gives you strength to fight with your challenges. God, he created a mountain in you that can end the gossiping. Say in the name of Jesus. Can you say gossiping? Uh, can you, uh, you are many you people, can you say gossiping? Uh, have you seen how painful when people, they lie about you? Huh? I know you people are still affected by what people they say about you. Me, my heart has died. Today. Whatever you say about me, it's, it's your business, not my business. And I don't, I, te, I don't care how you feel about me. That's your feelings and not my feelings. Hallelujah. When you think at night about me, you are the only one who's not going to sleep and lose appetite. Me, I eat and sleep. You know some other things, people, uh, uh, some other things that we adopt under this sun. We, we, we put ourselves chronic diseases for nothing. Uh, yeah. I said to another woman one day, I said, you know what, gossiping, it creates sicknesses. Hallelujah. You create your own sicknesses. You end up taking medication because of just failing to control yourself. Because at the end... God, he created a mountain on me. I don't care what you say about me. Can you say in the name of Jesus? If you can go outside asking people who are lying about you, you are going to finish the whole country. Because even the president lied about you yesterday. He said, people, they agreed for me to do this. He was lying. So you have to walk again to go to the president and ask lies. God, he created a mountain in you so that you, you can anchor such things without being affected. Aye. Am I talking about you? Can you say in the name of Jesus? In the book of Jeremiah 1, in verse 5, God he said to Jeremiah, Before I created you, I was away of you. In your mother's womb, I ordained you. In 19 he says, everyone shall turn against you, but they are not going to win because I'm with you. Hallelujah. God never said to Jeremiah, no one will turn against you because you are a prophet. He said, everyone shall turn against you, but because I'm with you, they are not going to win. Aye. Our challenges, they are there to push our skills out to God Almighty. 
Our problems, they are there to push us close to God, our creator. Our problems, they are there to push us close to the one who created us. Tell an operator, your problem or your problems, they are not there to destroy you, but to push you closer to your creator. Yes, well, the more you have problem, the more you pray. The more you have problem, the more you start believing. The more you have problem, you start singing. Have you seen how you play gospel when you are in trouble? Huh? I shout amen. I know you are, you are like those Christians. Shout amen. Have you seen how you, you, you post a, 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 a clips of a gospel songs on, on TikTok and the, and the WhatsApp because you are having a problem? The day problems are down, we can tell you through your post only that things are, are going well here. Because you are no longer posting gospel, you are posting uh, these uh, 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 comedians. Are you here? We see you posting Squaito in the R&B. We know that our problems are less. But the day we see you posting, ah, oh, you surrender. <laughs> we know someone is in trouble. Aye, aye. Can you say in the name of Jesus? <laughs> you have seen that on WhatsApp? Hey, Father, you are the only one. Another one say, you are holy. Another song say, I give my life to you. Another one say, you are my redeemer. Another song say, you are a conqueror. Aha, there's trouble. When trouble calls, you go to a sub status now. Yesterday they were showing me another song of demons that people they dance turning eyes. Ah, yeah. They call it Kilimanjaro or whatever. We see you posting Kilimanjaro. We know that you no know, things are fine. Ah, yeah. Say in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Uh, say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. The day we see a gospel song on your WhatsApp status, or, or a statement that says, Lord, I believe in you. <laughs> we know the mountain is being shaken. I heard. In the book of Genesis 1, in, verse, in Genesis 15, in verse 1, God he said to Abraham, I shall be, because of what you said, I shall be what? Your shield. What did Abraham say? When Abraham he went out and fought with a people who took his nephew Lot, he defeated that tribe. He took everything. He took gold and silver. He met a man called Melchizedek. Can you say Melchizedek? But uh, the Bible says Melchizedek, he was a high priest. The king of Salem, which is, means God of peace. He didn't have a mother, he didn't have a father. He didn't have a beginning, he didn't have an end. Abraham, he met Jesus. But when Jesus, he was collecting tithings, because he was there, the Bible said, Melchizedek, Abraham, he paid his tithing to Melchizedek. Then Melchizedek said, let us share. Abraham, he said, no, I don't want to share anything with you. I don't want you to see me rich and say, I met Abraham rich. My God shall make me rich. He was talking to his God like that. I heard. Abraham, he, he was trusting in, in his God. He trusted that his God will make him rich. He, he didn't even consider the gold. A lot of gold he came after, he came with after uh, winning a war. He said, I don't need this. Just give me food. 
Whatever my soldiers they shall eat, I will eat it then we separate. You take everything. He was talking to Jesus because the Bible, when you read from Genesis, you go to the first, uh, 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 to, to, you go again to the Old Testament, to the New Testament. Jesus is the only one who has made a high priest forever. Aye, aye. Can you say in the name of Jesus? I say in the name of Jesus. Abraham met Jesus. Jesus wasn't new. Jesus, that's why he said before, in John 8, he said before Abraham, I am. They said, no, we don't know you. Abraham, he met. That's why he said when Abraham heard about me, he rejoiced. They said, how did Abraham, how do you know Abraham? Jesus met Abraham. Hallelujah. Can you say in the name of Jesus? Then in Genesis 15, in verse 1, after Abraham, he said that God, he comes and said, because of what you said, I shall be your what? Your shield. I shall be your shield. Because of what you have said, I shall be your shield. God never said our problems when you become Christians, they will disappear, they will vanish. There is nothing that you ladies, you are using vanish. Can you say vanish? Does it make uh, stains to disappear? Huh? What is the color of vanish? Huh? Pinky, huh? Common sense. Go and find a black thing and pour a pinky thing on top. You phone me tomorrow. Find a white thing, you paint it black, huh? Pour a pink on top. Then you phone me tomorrow, what? Pink you will eat black. Not remove it. It will make, it will make black to fade to be black. Then they tell you, hey, hey, your, your stains have vanished. Pink is a strong color. Aye, aye. All right, take Fanta and mix with Coke. Take come, Coke, put it on the gas. Start pouring Fanta. Just look on the color. What will be happening to the black? Black won't die. It will remain black. But there will be something a change. But black will never vanish. Jesus never said our problems will vanish. No. He said, I will build a mountain in you so that when your problems, they come, you can stand. Am I talking about here? Jesus, he said, I will build a mountain on you so that when your challenges, they come, you stand. In Proverbs 26, in verse 16, a righteous man fall down how many times? Seven times and rise up again. If, if, if God, there was no falling down, I don't think that scripture, uh, uh, the teacher was going to write it. The teacher wasn't going to write that scripture because he didn't know how is, how, what is to fall down. Because he fall, he fallen down many times. God was his strength because he was a mountain. God must create a mountain in you. Look on the neighbor, tell neighbor, neighbor. God must create a mountain in you. Again, tell a neighbor, neighbor. God must create a mountain in you. God must create a mountain in you. The greater is that is new than in the world. Hallelujah. Can you say in the name of Jesus? I was explaining to someone, I said, death wasn't an angel. Can you say an angel? Can you say an angel? Death wasn't an angel as we think that death was an angel. No. When you read the Bible says, I'll take you to the prayer of King Hezekiah. King Hezekiah said, to, he said I know you are the God who dwells in the mix, in the mix of cherubims. What are the cherubims? A creature with unhuman form. 
or an human structure. Aye, am I talking about here? Something that look like a human, but not a human. Am I talking about here? Death was one of those that God created. Not only an angel, but he was one of those cherubims. That's why he's very wise. Aye. When King Hezekiah, he was praying on the prayer in the, prof, in the book of prophet Isaiah in verse 37 and 16. He said, Lord who dwells in the midst of cherubims. Not in the midst of angels. Aye. Cherubims are, I can't call them human beings. A, cre a creation of God or a creature that look like a human being but not a human being. Hallelujah. In the book of, uh, uh, when we read the book of Genesis, it said they were giants. In Genesis 6, it, it, it said they were giants. Huh? Uh, 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 hallelujah. But when you go to the book of Enoch, you discover that these angels were not normal as we think that they were normal. Angels and us, we are two different things. Can you say in the name of Jesus? Say in the name of Jesus. Say Lord Jesus. Have mercy on me. God he created heavens. Can you say heavens? I want to talk about heavens now. Can you say heavens? Did Jesus say I will be with you in that thief in heaven? He said, I'll be with you in paradise. Can you say paradise? Again? Okay. Why Jesus didn't say, I'll be with you in heaven? In heaven, when we talk about heavens, we talk about angels. We talk about where God dwells. When we say God, he created heavens. We talk about God, he created angels. Aye, aye. Tell Jeff you're a liar. I am a mountain now. Ah, there's no mountain talking like you. You're crying even at night. Say, I don't know what to do. Pray. Tell the tell tell you're a liar. I am a mountain. That cannot be shaken. Your problems, they mustn't shaken you. Regardless how big are your problems, God give you strength. If you find them on Facebook, <laughs> Uh, 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 say, uh, it's quoting the scripture of Job, Job 19 in verse 25. I know my redeemer liveth. Huh? Uh, can you shout amen? Don't think that they know that scripture. They took a, a, a dictionary on their phone. You know these cell phones of nowadays, they are more educated than us. They write, they show me any scripture that talks about redeemer. <laughs> aye, aye! Then you find a person who never read the Bible a posting a, a deep scripture like that. I know my Redeemer level. How did you find it? Because you don't know Genesis 1 in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Can you say in the name of Jesus? Say in the name of Jesus. Our problems, they are not there to destroy us. Our problems, they are not there to oppress us. Our problems, they are not there to suppress us. But our problems, they are there to draw us closer to our creator. Without our problems, we cannot be in church. Are you here? Are you here? Without our problems, we cannot kneel down and pray. Without our problems, we cannot call, wake up at night and call the name of the Lord. God he created a mountain in us. We are the mountains that cannot be shaken. Fear not, your problems, no matter how big they are, your God is bigger than that. Fear not, no matter how pain is the pain, pain, how painful is the pain that is tormenting you, your healer is stronger than that. Hallelujah. 
Your God is a healer. Regardless whatever you may be going through, your God is above that sickness because he created a mountain in you. Aye, aye. Can you say in the name of Jesus? Can you say in the name of Jesus? Can you say in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. You are a mountain, as God is said to Abraham. From today I shall be what? Your shield. I know things they will come after you, but I shall be what? Your shield. God didn't say to Abraham, I'm removing all problems away. When we enter in problems, it doesn't mean that God is fighting with us. When we enter in trials and tribulations, it doesn't mean that God has abandoned us. God, he knows we are stronger than that. Tell anybody neighbor you are stronger than that. Ah, you precious people, tell anybody you are stronger than that. Okay. Okay. Tell anybody you are stronger than that. <laughs> when you feel pain, cry and pray. Don't try, just cry only. You are a mountain. You can't be shaken. I know there are things that they can come and put you to the corner. Tell the devil, I know I am a mountain. I can't be shaken like that. I know I am a mountain. You cannot push. Let me tell something. Have you, have you gone to, have you watched boxing? Can you say boxing? Uh, can you say boxing? In boxing before you fight, they weigh you. Why are they weighing you? Because you cannot fight with a giant that weighs 600 kg. You are weighing only 50 kg. Are you yeah. Beckles that we fight, they come according how stronger we are. God will never test you with something that is above your power. First Corinthians 10 in verse 13. He will never test you with something that is above your power. In 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13, he said, God will never test you with something that is above your power. He knows your power. He knows your strength. Aye, aye. Can you say in the name of Jesus? You can't be slim like you are slim. They bring a tough man Biggest wrestlers in boxing, they say you fight. Don't want wrestler is a fake. Wrestling is a fake. That's why they can't even put a small, slim boy with a giant who carry the giant in the air. They practice before coming to the, to the screen. But boxing, they don't practice. It's reality. You must know about here. Can you say in the name of Jesus? I know you didn't know that wrestling is a fake. Wrestling is a fake. You say in the name of Jesus. Okay. Hallelujah. All beggars that they come to you, they come according how big is the mountain that is in you. If you see a lot of problems in your life, God created a bigger mountain in you. If you see a problem persisting and persisting, God is still building a, a, a tower of Babel in you. He's still making you to go higher and higher and you are attracting everything that is surrounding you. Put a light at night or a phone light and put it on the darkness. See what will happen in, in two minutes, three minutes. You start seeing all those uh, uh, flying things and those who are crawling coming. Uh, why? The light attracts things. Same applies when you become a believer. When you become a believer, you attract a lot of demons. They come after you. Why? Because God has, has built a mountain on you. You are taller than what you think. So all demons from far, they want to see how big is this mountain. Are you? Say in the name of Jesus. 
Say in the name of Jesus. <laughs> when you're going to a town or to a village where there is a mountain, when you are directing people, you say you go to this street, you turn a cave, you turn a junction, you see a mountain. You see what? You see what? Uh -huh. Why you are putting a mountain? Because you know the mountain is, is taller than the city that that person is looking for. The mountain that God created in us is greater than all our challenges. That's why all demons, they come after us because they see that big tallest building in you that you cannot see. I need you to discover how stronger you are. You know, sometimes you have to know how stronger you are. Ah, yeah. Tell the banana. You have to know how stronger you are. If you are weak, weak demons, they will come to you. 